Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're looking at the very important updates and fixing of, if you'd like, visual recon mode in DCS for single player and multiplayer. Talking us through this and helping it get done is Iron Wolf, say hello. Hello. What visual recon mode is, I've got an old video, but what it is, is if I go to F10 here, we've got myself, we've got Iron Wolf here, we're blue guys. At this cross here is a bunch of baddies. We can't see them on the F10 map because our F10 map options are set as Fog of War. Fog of War means that we cannot see any bad guys unless A, an AI guy has got within what is determined visual range, whatever that is, probably a certain slant range in thousands of feet, or an AI, again a friendly coalition, sees, for instance, an air target on their radar. Would you agree with that so far, IW? Uh, yes, but they can also use their teapot to find things on the ground too, so they'll be outside. Right, teapot way. as well. So even an AI on Blue Coalition with a teapot will be able to see ground targets and extended ranges of whatever it is, 40 miles th threshold, something like that, I'd imagine. Okay. When those AI guys stop seeing those red units because they've turned their radar off or they've gone out of range, then those map markers of the red guys would disappear. Are you happy with that? That's what I've observed. But now we've got visual recall mode. This is something that allows humans in a multiplayer or single player scenario to be able to add the F10 markers for the, the bad guys. We have to visually go in and visually spot those particular targets manually to add them to the F10 map so that the other guys in the multiplayer can see them. Myself and I Wolf are in F18s and we are in different flights just to make this uh, a bit more obvious. Now. I can technically, I don't know if you can see that on the screen, you can see some bad guys there, but I'm going to get a little bit closer to uh, well within 10 miles. Okay, I can definitely see baddies now. I've got three baddies there, four baddies there, four baddies there, three baddies there. Now I'm going to just double check. There's nothing appeared on the F10 map, and it hasn't, of course, because I haven't spotted them yet. Now I'm going to manually spot them. To do that, I'm going to turn from in a cockpit mode to exterior mode. So you can see we're in cockpit mode because we've got this little cursor. Left, Alt and Charlie, or double mouse scroll click, is that right? That's right. That gets rid of the cross. We're now in exterior cockpit mode, so I'm now going to select things with a mouse that are outside the cockpit. I'm now going to press right click on the mouse, and look, we get this little red marker that tracks wherever my track IR or VR is looking. Now, the importance of this video really is that until now, this hasn't actually been working properly. Could you give us a rough idea of why it hasn't been working so that viewers know what to look for in the old version? In the old version, the reticle, the red reticle you're seeing, went behind the terrain. Right, so it literally disappeared the terrain. That's why this wouldn't work. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is put the red reticle on these guys. A little bit difficult because of track AR. And left click now, okay? Listen to that. We've now reported in that armor. Now if I go to F10, and we think this is anything within about a thousand feet range of where I clicked on the terrain, we think anything within a radius of where we just clicked with the red thing is now going to report it. And that's now, these units are now visible to everyone on the F10. So confirm I'm all for you can see those three units. I can. Do you can want me to try it for you? Yes, please. And set, get another set. Okay, clicking now. I'm going to jump on F10 now. Ping. Okay. And did you do just one click or two clicks out of interest? I did one, but because they were so close right. together, it picked up both. Yeah, so these, we think this is about a th thousand feet catchment. It's got everything there. That's how it works. So these guys are now visible on the map. Now, they are going to stay visible. We don't know exactly how it's supposed to work because there's no real documentation on this. But if we, for instance, were to fly away, uh, uh, all the way to 500 miles away if we wanted, those guys would still be there on the map. They're forever showing on the map. If we fly away and they move away so we can make them move 10 miles they will also still be shown on the map so as far as we're concerned they're uncovered this also works for aerial targets so if there's a bad guy uh, an aerial guy and let's just not worry about radars turn our radar off let's just do everything visually if there was a bear coming towards us it would be invisible on f10 until i did my uh, my thing again so right click and then left click and then I would uh, get that bear, and that bear would forever be viewable on F10. It's been spotted, and that's just how it works at the moment, February 2021. So that's a really useful uh, upgrade that we've got in DCS now. I'm going to expect to make some use of that in multiplayer with Fog of War. You can obviously, uh, if you look watching this video, you can obviously see the implications that this has in terms of realism of spotting units. It does make the usefulness of, say, helicopters quite good, because... Um they now have something to see. Right. They can report, you know, hide and report things, and then the fighters can come in. So it gives another role to those sorts of things. I hope that was useful, and see you later.